Hello and welcome back to Watercat Gaming with another episode of Fallout New Vegas in Dead Money. We will be heading into the suites today to get Christine. So let's head in there now. Everything I remember of the suites is being lost and many, many holograms. Find the mute and deal with her. She's somewhere on this floor. Floors buzzing with emitter signatures. Watch out for holograms. If it's who I think it is, this is Christine. Recovered. In what looks like an old world hotel room. My class. Two rooms. Exit sealed. All doors are locked down. Security's activated. And emitter signals are lighting up all over this floor. I'll do what I can from here. Floor's got holographic security. Not latest tech. Field of view targeting systems. Primitive. Familiar. Okay, so Christine is talking. She's probably enjoying that, at least. Okay, I do... I do hear her talking. And that's definitely a hologram of Vera. I can hear the other guests screaming to be let out, to let go. Sinclair, is that you? Sinclair? Sinclair, I'm trapped. Please. Oh, God, the security systems won't let me out. They're keeping me here. That's disturbing. Amongst the ghosts. Because that's some crisp and clear talking. Okay, that sounds more like a radio, maybe. I'm not sure I have much to investigate. Not really. Why did you leave me here? Why? Sinclair! Sinclair! The creepy hologram. Oh my goodness. No. No. Let me just leave. Let me just leave. Oh my god, it's a bathroom. Screaming to be let out. They're keeping me here. That's creepy. Why does the hologram know things? It's pointing me this way. I am curious about this door, though. Okay, there is a today's physician. I want the bobby pins. Am I already kind of lost? Kind of. Kind of being the key. Okay, cool. Well, no beeping, eh? Eh? See, I thought it was weird. We'll go through this one first. Okay. The doorway is safe-ish. And that one requires a key. Scan. Radio, radio, radio. Okay. The laundry room is safe now. Locksmith reader. We have actually a few of those. I need to remember these things. Hmm. 
There are plenty of ing words, that's for sure. We're going to try wearing. Okay, then maybe meaning? No, that's about the same amount. Which is concerning, because they're one letter off, so... We have beating, but we also have beeping. Oh man, is it gonna be beeping? I mean, that is very close. It has, it has to be. Now we can find out. I hit the same one twice. Goodness, I, I annoy myself. Beeping. Very relevant to our situation, actually. Very strange. Sometimes I wonder with the game, do they purposely put in words that are like around that? I mean, think about it. The whole beeping thing is me and Christine's thing. Even before the callers up here in the Sierra Madre, she actually made things not beep so bad. And even now it's going to be talking about speakers because I'm disabling the hallway speakers. I'm also going to download the Starlet Hologram code snippet and a recipe for a superheated knife. Why not? Cosmic piece of shit knife, pilot light, hot plate. Well, there's a kitchen in here and I can probably make that. There is another one here. It's the emergency network and a sweet maintenance key. Heck yes, anything good in the toolbox. Not really at the moment anything I need. Duct tape is always a good thing to a point. Override emergency door seal. I'll read the notes though first. Been reading this over. In the event of a fire, chemical leak, nuclear attack, or other threat to the casino. Yeah, we've read this before. Basically, every door hermetically seals, and that's bad. I hear some doors opening more than just that one, it seems. Sinclair. Sinclair. We all pay for what it's the creepy talking once again. So sorry, Hologram. Why are you talking? Is that just the sky? Screaming to be let out. To let go. Sinclair? Oh, bo, bo, bo. Sinclair, nope, nope, go? nope, nope. Why did you leave me here? Why? Sinclair? Sinclair, Sinclair I'm trapped. Sinclair. Please. Oh, God, the security systems won't let me out. They're keeping me here. Hopefully I won't have to deal with that. They sealed. Not at the moment. I can hear the other guests screaming to be let out. To let go. Sinclair? Sinclair, where did you go? Why did you leave me here? Why? Make a run for it. Sinclair? Make a run for it. I am Sinclair, not Sinclair. Please. Ah. Security systems will... Let me leave. Sinclair, is that you? Sinclair! It's pretty in here, but I think I hear another one, don't I? There's just a ton of them, so maybe not. Today's physician. Let's see what we can do. We can typically create stim packs. We also have some drugs, but I think stim pack would be, you know, the best idea. Yes. Veer's computer terminal. Okay, well... I guess Vera never wanted to go in the bar- oh, holograms. Probably just had a hologram sitting there. Unlock the security door. Hope that Vera holograms don't eat me alive. Vera's outfit. Yes! Take that back to Christine. It is the most beautiful dress in the Mojave. Though I guess we technically aren't there. So the vault was in her room? Vault elevator microphone. This device is a voice recognition security system that protects access to the Sierra Madre's vault. Unlocking it requires you to speak at the microphone. Okay. 
well, I'm gonna leave it alone for now. I'm guessing that, you know, Christine having Vera's voice means we need Christine to talk into it. You made it. You scared Good. me. There's to talk. I'll keep this quick in case my voice goes out. You sound like the woman from the broadcast that I was talking about earlier. Do I? It sounds off to my ears. Hard to tell. Not to mention it, it hurts like hell to swallow. Might be why I got moved off to this suite. It's hers. That's her over there. Got trapped by security like I did. Just took a different way out. Now that your voice is back, what what is it you wanted to say? I mean, we kind of didn't get to talk at all. I've been hunting the one who hijacked your pit boy, Elijah, for some time. He cannot leave the Sierra Madre alive. What he's done, what he's done here is nothing compared to what he's done in the past. The only way to bring him out is if you get to the vault. He won't allow you to go down there alone. That's when we kill him. So, how long is it you have been hunting him, though? Too long. Thought I might have had a chance to settle it before this event happened. But then the chance slipped away again. So, settle it. So you, you're here to kill him? Those are my orders. I've seen what he's done, and I believe in those orders. I understand. I know Elijah needs to be dealt with. I can just handle it if you want, but it does, it does sound personal. He cut me off from someone I cared about a long time ago. He used his status to break us apart, so I had to find a new purpose. Same banner. Then he became unstable, left a trail of crimes across the wasteland. Once word reached us, I was ordered to kill him. He did say that he knew you. He saw me, before the scars, at a place far from here. It's where he found some of the technology he uses now. It's a place called the Big Empty. The name's deceptive, if you know where to look. Almost got trapped there. There was someone else, though, who came along, knew about Elijah. You just filled in a pretty big gap, thank you very much. Because the whole time, I was thinking that they had hinted that more people had come through Big Mountain. Do you know how they knew them? idea. A courier. Wore an old world flag on his back. He was the one who pulled me out there. Told me where Elijah had gone. Helped me heal up. Listen to my story. He sympathized. Well, I'm really glad. He said he understood what it meant to track someone who had such a impact on his past life. He said people were like couriers, sometimes never understanding the messages they brought. That's who he was hunting for. Some courier. He's looking for me. If you are new to this channel, because I know I've gotten an influx of new subscribers, welcome! I have never played Lonesome Road. It is actually the goal of this playthrough, is that I would like to do a blind playthrough of Lonesome Road. I have still held off on that. So doing these stories again have really helped me as far as knowing the lore I'm looking for in the storyline. I'm obviously excited. This is going to finish up so much mystery about who the courier has been, in a way. And uh, I like that we have the freedom of not knowing, but I do want to know more about where I came from. So, I know that Elijah does need to be dealt with. I mean, I do not know how many other people he captured and uh, killed with bomb collars. If you want, I can handle it. Wasn't sure until now I could trust you. Now I know. Look, when I woke up here, however that happened, I had this key on me. I think it belongs to her. I haven't had a chance to use it yet. Might open the dresser or the safe. Didn't have time to experiment with it before you arrived. Here you go. So how did you get here from the gala vent, like onto this floor? This whole time I've been questioning the security. They said the security just moves people, but the security I have seen is holograms. Holograms don't move people, typically. The gala went off 
when the switching station opened up. I thought the screeching in the auto dock was bad. Station worse. Got outside, saw the light show, and it was enough to make me run to the casino. Also, it seemed like the lights and speakers were helping to guide me. Guess your master wanted a backup in case you died. As for being assigned to this floor, maybe it's because of my new voice. Your guess is as good as mine. Maybe it recognized me as a guest. I get that. I just want to know how it moved. Knocked out humans. That's really all I want to know. But we obviously, none of us know. So, it says there's a chance he'll see reason. I'm going to ask about it. I don't really recall that being a very good option. I don't recall much at all. Try and reason with him. See what happens. He's so lost in his technology. I don't think he even understands why anymore. He should have stayed in Big Mountain. You could have said something sooner. This is all they're leaving me. Wasn't sure until now I could trust you. Now I know. No, actually, she could not have told me before because she just got her voice back. So, one more question. Does that auto dock work? Because I'm I might patch myself up. Yeah, it's still functional. A lot of garbage data on it. It's basic procedure should still work fine. I'm just glad that you're safe. Oh, wait. Well, since you're good with technology, anything you can download off of it? I can see. Check the route. Recent diagnostics. A lot of Medex was dispensed for... Vera Keys. Guess that's her corpse there for certain. And why all those meds are scattered around in here. Here's the medical report. Looks like she had some sort of terminal condition. Diagnosis isn't conclusive. Must have been painful. I'm not even sure she knew if these medical reports are enough. She must have been numb most of the time. Oh, wow. So Vera was actually sick? That makes this even sadder because, in a way, Sinclair built her a beautiful tomb. Whether he meant her to actually get stuck in here or not, I think he did expect then she would probably die here. I am glad you're safe, though, so hold up here. I'm gonna go see if I can take care of Elijah. Good luck. He's not an easy opponent. If I can, I'll help. Might be able to figure something out using the Sierra Madre's computer systems. Don't worry. I'll save first. Also, in the, I'll see if the thing can heal me. I am actually very curious about uh, Vera's medical status because apparently she was probably was sick. I could take her dress. Didn't I already take her dress? We can match. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh, a dead man's hand card and... So it does look like Sinclair was able to access this. Sinclair, there's not much more we can do for Miss Keys except keep her comfortable. Her exhaustion will persist, as will the insomnia. Recommending continuing Medex super stim treatments. This is not a viable long-term solution. The pain will persist and increase over time. And the dosages she's currently taken already carry the risk of overdose. Based on discussion, I also fear allowing Ms. Key's access to those amount of chems may lead to purposeful overdose and recommended psychiatric evaluation as well. Well, Vera, I'm very sorry. Well, now it says that we need to thread Vera's music sequence together at the receptionist terminal in the lobby, which hopefully I can get to pretty well at this point. Just have to go past some holograms, I'm sure. You have the last ride. That's all I need. Now, go to the main lobby to thread the music sequence together. Oh, 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 oh. There's too many of you. 
I'm sure there's some down here too. Oh, okay. You know, there's a million of you. That's great. It's too dark in here. Really? This whole jumping in my face is getting old, guys. Whoa. Why are... What drugs are you on, sir? Think they got a hold of some jet? Okay, he's unconscious. Just blast him off into space. Okay. None of them are like crazy running at least anymore. I'm sure that I'll jinx myself and they will all start running towards me in some kind of fashion. No, th he's doing it again. He's, he he's doing it again. That's right. Yeah, more of them are just coming in. How am I supposed to get on the terminal and feel like I'm not gonna be attacked? I guess just like when the- okay, okay, stay there. Stay on the other side of that desk, sir. Okay, so let us gain the access now. I suppose we just go back and we're all good. At least they stayed behind the- No, 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 no. I'm gonna have to eat again. It's telling me to talk to you again. I- I got recordings. You're back. Sure you still want me here? Callers and all? Not much for waiting around with a bomb around my neck. I mean, I don't love it either. Your caller is beeping faster! Was it really? Was it really? But I found the phrase for the elevator's audio lock. You did. Looks like even the old world can't keep you out when you've got a mind to get in. So, I just rasp out some words and the vault opens? That woman, the starlet, she didn't build this place. Why would the builder do that? Well, maybe it was like a trust issue. He built this place for her, it feels like. It's possible. This place is immense. And it still has power, food dispensers, security. Is it all for pre-war guests? Or for her? I guess it's the object of someone's obsession. Or affection. In a way. Love makes people do strange things. I won't argue that. It can drive you crazy sometimes if you can't... connect. If they loved each other, and they were together, I suppose that's all that mattered. But she's in that side room, dead, because the casino wouldn't let her leave. Who knows where he is? I really have no idea. But let's unlock it. The phrase is contained in the lyrics to a song. Alright. If you go down there, are you prepared? What if you don't come back? Well, if we stay here with the cloud and the holograms... Well, they'll answer that. I... Just wanted to make sure you're ready. When you go down there, that may be it for us. We won't be needed anymore. The one who made these callers, he'll follow you down there. And he won't let you leave. He's not one for sharing. Never was. Well, that seems about right for a lot of the Brotherhood, uh, elders. So I think I can handle it. He'll come here to the suites. When he does, just let him go through, okay? I can't let him leave here. Look, you've done so much, and he's not going to show himself until you go down there. Do you trust me? Because if you do, let go of this. Not to be the whole theme of the DLC here, but I, I will kill him. You'll know if he never comes back up that elevator, and if I don't come back up that elevator, well, then you have that answer too. I can't let go. Every time I've thought about it, I've lost him so many times. He needs to die. What happened here with us? He's... He's done so much worse. Well, let him come through the suites. Follow me. If he escapes, you'll still be here waiting. You have to promise me. Promise me you'll deal with him. If I see him, I... Oh, he won't escape. I swear. But I'll need to leave this floor. He'll pick up my collar and- Don't tell me where you're going. He's probably listening in on the collars and the Pip-Boy, okay? 
So I'll find you after this. I... Never mind. Let me get the vault open. Begin again. But know when to let go. <laughs> Sounds like you. Sorry. Besides, I just don't want him blowing up your head. All right, Christine. See you later. Big deep breath. This, this could go bad. And it does. It does get bad. Hi. Please. No, I don't want my head to exp Hi, sir. Now there's beeping and cloud. I'm gonna die. It's been fun. It's been real fun. Getting very nervous. Getting very nervous. Getting very freaking nervous. Shut down alarms. Well, as usual, thank you so much for joining me today. It means the world to me that you come along on this journey. And we're going to be finishing it next time, and it's going to get eventful. I hope that you join me then. I'm going to go do my thing, and you can go do yours. And I hope that you have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye!